from the roof at the Case Center in Boston. It's Boston University basketball. Tonight, the Terriers host the Dartmouth College Big Green. You saw that they were coming out and doubling with a Delicun on Walter White. They are not going to let him get an easy shot. And that was what I was about to say. Is Rally around that or really struggle to kind of make up for those points. And right now, Dartmouth has just not been able to get it going offensively. And another three. This one from Anthony Morales. We told you he's been hot there by Jaron Johnson. Tate on the drive again, missing, but picks it up on the other side. And if they get hot to get back into this game. And that's going to be a chance for a four-point play right on cue for Kristowiak at 6-9, just like his dad. Last time out. Walter White with the turnaround in the lane. White, Walter White, that's only his second field goal. Almost got a steal there, and now Harper does. A near turnover, and then an actual turnover, and Harper's blocked. Five to go in the half. Walter White spins baseline and gets blocked by Adelikin. Neshkovich, now for Johnson. Takes the contact and throws it in on the reverse. Between two players. It's not like the you know the power five where they'll let you go one-on-one -on -one if you can beat them. Underneath, Neskovic gets blocked. The follow is short, and the third chance. Was that a Delican? Right, BU leading by nine. Zone defense from Dartmouth for the first time tonight. White shoots over it and connects with the triple. And that's the problem with the zone sometimes. If you leave it. Ten to shoot for the Terriers. Harper tried the reverse layup. It was blocked by Adelican. The kick out by Adelican that time. And Isaiah Robinson drills the three. And it's a seven point. Making the right pass this time to Isaiah Robinson. And there's another block oh. for Adelican, but he may be shaken up. Adelican never got back to the offensive end of the floor. He gets another block, this one on Harper. In the second half, they have rallied from what was a 20 point deficit. And it is now down to four as Adelican drills a three. That is his first three of the season. This has not been, you know, free easy buckets for Dartmouth from in transition. Neskovic ties the, or Johnson rather, ties the game and he'll go to the line with a chance to give the Big Green the lead for the first time. Ed. Eight to shoot for BU. Jonas Harper for Brewster. Off the heel, long rebound. Kalen Jones there first. Great pass to Miles Brewster. And this is exactly what Joe Jones was talking about. Three, he was wide open. Myrtle on the drive, blocked by Chemezi, or maybe White. They were both there. And the third chance, fourth chance actually, is finally knocked in by Neshkovich. Get a chance, Brian, as Harper lines up a three and drills it. That is a big shot. And for Jonas, those are his first points since very early in the game. When he back now to Adelic in the quick move on Zink. Now he's too far under the bucket and has to get rid of it. Shot clock at five. And the ball tipped away again. It looked like Tynan that time from behind. Fletcher trying to pay it off, and he does. And BU leads by nine. Uh, Dartmouth. Shot clock at 12. Dartmouth not playing the foul game. Even down by nine. And Walter White drives to score. Well, that time they were trying to play four threes in this game. They almost turn it over. Now there's another pile up. And out of the pile, it's Walter White to put the exclamation point on this one at the roof. I, I'm just, you, you talk about key moments. That turnover, absolutely. Just the handoff from Jaron Johnson. Ten points now for Jonas. And the final seconds of this one here at the roof. This was an unbelievable valiant effort by this Dartmouth team and they almost caused another turnover the Terriers did there right at the end and Ethan Britton Watts is just taking a rest after the final buzzer of this one the Terriers had to win this one twice at least even here at home that's something that's usually reserved for the road hi Terrier fans my name is Caitlin Gelhouse alongside guard grad student Walter White Walter congratulations on the win but not only the win you have a win for yourself you're now the 13th all-time leading scorer on Boston University's in, in history. How does that feel to have that win for yourself? Uh, it feels pretty good. Uh, I didn't even know that, but you know, I've, I've just been putting in the work and trusting my teammates and trusting our process and letting the cards fall how they may. But um, you know, I'm, I'm proud of our guys today. That's all I'm happy about is the win. Thank you, Walter. Here at Case Gym, I'm Caitlin Gelhouse alongside Coach Quinn. 
Coach, congratulations on the win. What went well tonight in tonight's game? Well, I think for stretches we had some intensity defensively, and that usually leads to us executing better offensively. It lets us get out and run. I didn't think we did that for 40 minutes, but certainly to start the game and then in a couple runs in the second half, that put it away there for us. And looking ahead, Coach, you have next week your last non-conference game, and then the following week you're starting that in-conference play yeah. against Navy. What can we look for in BU's team, and how are you preparing for it? Sure. I, you know, I think it's good that we get a week to work right now. I think the big thing for us is just consistency. You know, we show, we show stretches, we show flashes, but we've got to be able to put that together for a full 40-minute game. So that's what we'll be working for moving forward. Absolutely. Thanks, Coach. Thank you. And that does it. Boston University, 67 to 59, Dartmouth, here at Case Gym or the Roof. I'm Caitlin Gelhouse. Thanks for tuning in.